I feel like Quasimodo, Katie. Honey, you kind of look like him, too. Oh, oh really? Uh, uh, Lon Chaney or Charles Lawton? Oh, I was thinking the cartoon version. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, no, no, no. In this instance, laughter is not the best medicine. Okay, sorry. Let me just try something different. Okay. How about behind your neck? My neck doesn't hurt. Yes, but it will take pressure off of your back. Oh, really? How about another martini? That'll take pressure off of everything. I have a better idea. Oh, great. I will be right back. <sighs> Keep your eye on him. Okay. <clears throat> Wow, she is crazy about you. It is a good thing that you fell down the steps here where she has no choice but to take care of you. Addie, I don't know what it is that you're expecting, but whatever it is, it's not healthy. And I want you to stop before... Hey, honey, you want to get that? You know, uh, my foot isn't quite long enough to reach the knob. I slammed the door on me again. Katie called me over and said it was an emergency. Hey, Mike, is that you? What happened? Uh, what's the matter? You never seen a guy do yoga before? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what really happened? He fell down the stairs. Did you call a doctor? I don't need a doctor. But we do need help. Thank you so much for coming over. Where exactly does it hurt? Uh, not counting my pride. Uh, lower back, slightly off center. You fell down the, the entire flight of stairs. No, just the last three. Mike, does that make a difference? Oh, no, I'm just trying to talk to you so you don't go into shock. It's my fault. I left a slipper on the stairs and he tripped over it. It's no one's fault. Not really. I mean, it was an accident. Really? Right, so what do we do now? Uh, I have cold, I have heat. I can never remember which one you use. Cold, but I think we should call a doctor. No, I don't need a doctor. I just need to get up on the couch. Which is why I called you, Mike. I'm not sure which move you. I, 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 look, I can't stay down here on the floor, okay? Just help me up on the couch, please, Mike, please. All right, all right, all right. Then we're calling Bob Hughes. No arguments from anybody. Oh, no arguments, okay. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. All right, Doc, you want to tell these worry wards that there is nothing wrong with me? Well, if you mean anything major broken, I think that's a safe assumption. But you really did bruise your back muscles, and you managed to uh, also bruise your tailbone. Is that anywhere near my ego? <laughs> well, we've got to get that swelling down, and I want you to have an MRI. But until then, I really want you to take it easy. Keep icing your back and take these anti-inflammatory pills uh, four times a day. Okay. Thanks for coming by on such short notice, Doc. Glad to oblige. You know, it's good that you called me. You can't be too uh, careful with back injuries. See? All right, I stand corrected. No, you're not going to be standing for the next few days. I want you to stay off your feet. We'll give it uh, 48 hours. You give me a call, and we'll reevaluate. I will make sure he follows orders. Thank you so much. Glad I could help. Good night, all. Good night, Doc. Thanks. Right. <sighs> Maddie, you want to give me the phone book? All right, what do you need? Uh, Stay bedridden. I, I need a bed, don't I? A room to go along with it. Don't be silly, Henry. I told you you're staying here. I'm not staying here in the middle of your living room. Why not? Why not? I'm gonna find a cheap motel, okay? What's the, uh, what's the one with the cowboy wallpaper over? The wagon wheel? Yeah. That place should be condemned. Henry, you're not staying there. And you heard what Dr. Hughes said. You need to be off your feet for at least 48 hours. She makes a good argument, Henry. You don't need to be shuffling from place to place in your condition. Of course you can't. You can end up in, like, traction or something. So I am going to set up a little table for you. For food, drinks, whatever else you need. Oh, yeah? I'll give you a little bell so you can ring it when you want something. Uh, yeah, can I have, like, a little cocktail shaker and a little bowl of ice on the table? Five campaign pills. That's a really good idea. Yeah. I, I'm not going through this without martinis, okay? I, I'm not going to do it. I will tough out the pain. I'm going to pick up that prescription for you. Oh, no. I got it. Uh, I've done enough already. Yes. Yes, you have. And thank you so, so much. I'll walk you to your car. Okay? Uh, Maddie, why don't you slow down now? I'm not sure Mike is ready to go yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought since he took care of what he came to do... Actually, I... your sister's got a good point. You're all squared away. It's getting kind of late, so... Now, unless there's something else you need. Uh, yeah, yeah, there is, actually. Um, I, Katie, could, uh, could you give me some more ice? Sure. Thanks. And Maddie, uh, could you get the stuff from the pharmacy for me? But I, 
I've only been here for two days. Suppose I get lost. You're not going to get lost, sweetie. You just take a left out of the driveway and then a left at the first intersection and then it's just like a mile down the road. You should hurry up, honey, before the store closes, okay? Fine. Okay. I want to apologize for my sister. She can be a bit pushy. Mm. Her intentions are pretty obvious, but it's kind of cool that she's trying to protect you. Yeah, yeah, I just want to let you know that I'm not coaching her or anything like that, okay? In fact, I'm, I'm, I've been trying to straighten her out, but uh, she's a bit too stubborn to listen. I only asked you to stay, Kaznoff, so I could have the pleasure of throwing you out. Katie and I are together now, you understand? Uh, we're soulmates. And, uh, nothing, I mean nothing, is going to take that away from us. So I want you to get out and stay out. Ow, Katie, please let him do this. Please, please, you know we belong together. No, Mike, we don't. I was a fool to walk away from Henry. He's the only man I want. The only man I love. Now, forever. Okay, oh, please, please don't do this. Please. Wow, you are amazing. Aren't I? You sure I can't get you anything else? No, thanks. I'm in good hands. I just want to thank you for coming over and helping out. And uh, to say how sorry I am about the baby. Are we short hotel time? Hey, sure I can get you anything else? No, no. No, not next to Katie. I, it's so good of her to let me and Maddie stay. How could I not let you stay? I just, uh, I don't want to be a burden, you know? I don't want to get in the middle of, of your life. <laughs> what life? It's late. I really need to get going. I'm just going to walk him out. Sure. Is there anything else you need? Uh, besides the martinis that I can't have, and the painkillers that are not here because of my slowest molasses sister. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Hey, follow doctor's orders, all right? Ice it every 30 minutes and take those pain pills. Ice. Ice. Gotta remember ice. Right, thanks, Mike. You uh, saved my butt, literally. <laughs> See you later, man. Yeah. yeah. I hope you don't mind that I called you. I know you said that we should keep our distance. Yeah, never mind. You know I'd do anything for, for Henry. He's lucky to have you. Lucky to have you. See you later. Wait, Mike, don't go. What is it? You're still here? Who's taking care of my brother? You are. <laughs> she is a piece of work. Yeah, well, she has met her match in me. She just doesn't know it yet. Somebody should warn her. <laughs> what is this guy's problem? Can he take a hint? I don't know. I wish you could. I would you just leave him alone and stop playing matchmaker. Well, somebody's got to. Well, at least he's leaving and you're spending the night. That's a start. So what do you want to say to me? Well, I was just wondering, when do you think you're coming back? For Henry, I mean. First thing tomorrow morning. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, not unless you and Maddie plan on getting Henry in the shower by yourselves. Good point. Right, so I'll have coffee ready. Sounds good. Good night. Good night.